So you sh hopefully you can see here the, the big gap, we've got about a 10 mil gap in the middle of this board, we're touching at that end, we're touching at this end, but we've got this big 10 mil gap in the middle, so we clearly have a bowed board here. And this can traditionally um, present all sorts of problems for traditional um, um, nailing down techniques. For shark's tooth it's really not a problem. All we need to do is position the board so the bow is pointing away from the job that we're working on. So it's going to be touching at the two corners. What I'll do is I'll bring it up to the job like this, make sure it's touching at the far end, touching at this end and you can see we're not touching these fasters in the middle. Paul's going to start at that end driving the board onto the teeth and using a scrap of timber and a sledgehammer. It's very important to keep your weight on the board when installing the um, board onto the teeth so I'm going to stand down this end and distribute some weight. Let's give it a little bit of a tap and see it start to work its way on. I'm going to work along the board as I go here. We're driving that bow out of that, you can see it smacking its way in there now. It's going quite nicely, it's holding well. We just work our way along the board. You can see this bow is clearly coming out as we go along. So we've just stopped for a minute so that James can install uh, a couple of shark's teeth down this end. What we're looking to do is control this bowed board and by installing these two at the end we started, we're now fixing that in position. And driving off. Okay, James has uh, put his uh, fast te uh, the teeth in down that end, that's now secure, it's all good. I'm going to continue to bring this board under control, here we go. A couple more hits and we'll be there. A little bit of a tap here, there she is. And I'll come back to the middle, just to bring that last board, here it is. Now, fasten that one down. I'll nail behind you if you like, James. Tap that little puppy home. So we put a straight edge down, just have a quick look, and that bow board, we had quite a 10mm bow if you remember, it's gone.